What is going on guys? My name is Ron Becky and from Ron Reviews here with another episode reaction to Rascal Does on Dream of Bunny Girl Senpai from my Flashback Friday series. This is going to be episode 11, The Kaede Quest, which is something that I predicted, I believe, last episode when I was going through the list in my head of like, who have I not seen yet in terms of like uh, an actual arc? Um, we got the Sen uh, we got the Kohai, uh, the little devil. We got Mize as the first one. Uh, we got the sister now. And then we got a little bit brief thing with the um, the childhood friend or, or the childhood crush of Sukata. Um, Sakuta. Sakuta. Sorry. <laughs> and so Sakuta... And I do know that her main arc is actually more delivered near the end of... Uh, uh, during the actual movie, I believe, and which I will watch eventually. Um, I'll probably do that for a Flashback Friday thing as well. So, what I'm going to do, hold on, let me just increase my microphone, because for some reason it was not picking up as loud as I wanted it to. So, yeah, that's not fun. But yeah, I'm ready to jump into this episode, guys. I'm going to go knock it out fast as well. Uh, I'll have three videos up for you guys today. Uh, for this Flashback Friday series. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy. And then I will be wrapping up the series next week. But until then, yeah. Look forward to that. But this is going to be episode 11. Hopefully you guys are ready. Let's start in 3, 2, 1. Let's jam. Oh, this is the public statement. Oh, wait. Are you... Are you is she's actually coming out in a a mini? I was not expecting this. Holy shit. What, what, th that is such a stupid thing. I heard that's actually a big thing in Japan, which uh, fucking infuriates me. That should not happen. That's a very bad culture. That this entire later, like the whole, oh no, an idol has a boyfriend. That's fucking terrible. It's the same thing with K-pop stars. Absolutely atrocious. It's a stupid culture. That specific thing is what I mean. But the fact that they're making a goddamn freaking press a press release because of she has a boyfriend it's so stupid kaida's goal for the year nice all right well you know, okay so i did say that i was curious as to how they're gonna wrap it up as fast as possible and then it was gonna tie into kaida's route no, it kind of wrapped up, but there's going to there's gonna be some backlash. They're not going to just show something near the end. Hold on, sorry. Yeah, they're not going to show something near the end of the episode and wrap it up just like that. Smooth, so you silver tongue. Ooh. <laughs> Are we gonna have a little competition? <laughs> oh, that's adorable. See, why can't I have some. Why can't I have a girl like that? <laughs> it's because I already have a girl like that work I know who you are Shoko I was just talking about her yeah but she's like I said she's the main focus of, she's the main focus of the movie so it's it's and it's already been established that this is going to be the Kaide arc so
<laughs> Interesting. I know exactly who you are. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just trying to... Apparently not, she's... yeah. Oh no! Oh no! For the top, but no! Oh no! Oh no! For the top! <laughs> You're not mad? See a little bit of Sundari there, right there. Just a little bit. The greatness. This close. Okay. I know they're talking about kind of just kind of weird. It took me a second, I was like, Kai, Kai Day, though. Okay, so... I'm curious to see how this is going to turn up. Oh, and did the puberty sitting up hit them too? So she's feeling some remorse. Hmm. 
<laughs> I have a feeling this uh, this isn't going to be good. Oh, she wrote into her diary her goals. No. <laughs> Other than eh, eh. that's the big one. That's the big one right there. Go to school. It's a little bit of a jump. A little bit of jump. She was wearing a panda suit. I don't know. Fish? Fish do? They look like fish. Yellowtail is good, though. I've had it as sushi. Delicious. Peppered yellowtail. Okay. He didn't show up. Then who put it in the car? Interesting, interesting. <laughs> okay, got it. They're not ruining out the thing about marriage. Nice. <laughs> She's so earnest. Baby steps, that's all it takes. She got a fever? Jeez. She is that physically weak. Or she's just weak in general. Oh, shit. It's the same marks. It, it's a bruise. Flashback. It's got to be a flashback. Interesting where your place to put a flashback. So the puberty syndrome is back... Hey, 
Hey, little devil. <laughs> Beer tank. Say no. They're actually using the Asahi beer too. I know that's like the like the beer in Japan, the most. I know it's probably the most popular because it's also the most common. Shh. Practicing. Okay, I was like practicing with my. I'm still curious about the mark. <laughs> of course he would say that. Oh. So they were talking... The finalist? Omatato! Already in one? Take a short break. <laughs> and how often are these breaks and how long are these breaks? <laughs> if she collapses. Hmm. I think they threw that in there for some some reason. I, yeah, I, outside of just her, um, the school uniform, I don't think I've seen her in anything but the panda suit. Something's gonna make, something's gonna hit. Oh, right now? I'm a little nervous though. I'm a little bit nervous because something's gonna happen. We have we even hit the no we've hit the halfway mark. Okay. She wants to, she wants to completely go. It's a necessary, but she realizes it's necessary. That's not been five minutes, but.
Actually, I can't see anything. Not yet. You're already outside. You were already outside. Happy? No, 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 you're not gonna get me. You're not gonna get me. Uh uh. You can't pull that. You can't pull that. No, 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 no. There's a hook. There's a hook. There's no way. Something's gonna happen. I no, there's something's gonna happen. Something's gonna happen that's gonna call my my something's gonna happen that's gonna cause her to completely shut her herself off again. It's the sea! Onigiri? Never had Onigiri. I think I've said that multiple times while I've done reactions, but yeah. <laughs> nice little cheeky comeback there. But what's going to happen? There's no, they're not gonna end on a happy note. I know this show. It, they're not gonna end on a happy note. They didn't the, end, the, the only way they'll end on a happy note is at the end of the show, at the end of the season. Oh no, this is bad. This is gonna be bad, huh? She doesn't recognize her. Wait. She hasn't had memories this entire time? Since when? I'm assuming they mean after the incident with her school and the bullying. So since then, she hasn't had memories? Of anything before then? So that's that actually makes a lot of sense is why she wouldn't want to go outside. She That's literally all she knows. Her room in that house, that's all she knows. Life is a never-ending dream. 
No, 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 no. No? Mm. Okay. Very interesting. Very interesting. So, Suka I mean, Sakata knew about the fact that she didn't have memories, like they just said, but Futaba also. Because they were even saying, like, oh, so they haven't told. Hmm. We think something big is going to happen relatively soon. That'll involve her probably regaining her memories. And then, I don't know. Okay, so she, my guess is she's going to regain her memories, but how is that going to affect her current state of life now? Is it going to make her almost like come to like a, almost like an impasse or more of like a, I don't know how things are going to work now. I'm so used to this lifestyle, but now this is happening. Or maybe it's going to completely overwrite her, her, her current one, which is that right now. And just be like, oh, I'm just going to go back to how I was. I'm curious. I'm curious. I mean, not overwrite. I mean, like, I mean, her memories are still going to, like, be there in a sense. But it's just like, oh, but now that I, I don't, I, I really don't know. I really don't know. I'm trying, like, to piece things out. Because this show was definitely throwing a lot of curveballs. So I, I like making assumptions because most of the time my, show, my assumptions are proven wrong. And that's when I'm like, ooh, I like that. Because a lot of shows that I've seen are, are very predictable in a sense and you can be like I, I saw that come from a mile away this show has thro genuinely thrown some curveballs and i love that and not to say so shows that are predictable are bad because i've seen things that are completely predictable i.e plastic memories i was like i can totally see what's gonna happen at the end D it still hit me like a ton of bricks and i cried like a little girl but <laughs> yeah but anyways guys hopefully you guys enjoyed this i'm going to be continuing and finishing up the series next week i got other stuff to do unfortunately um but yeah i am thoroughly enjoying this so in the next the next two episodes are the last episodes of the series and then i will be watching the movie wherever i can i don't think it's on crunchyroll i might be wrong though but yeah anyways i am thoroughly happy that you guys have stuck around and i thank you guys a lot i appreciate it thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time see ya